What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is going to be told to you by Millie because I keep butchering the title. It's what is the it? youngest living Medal of Honor recipient, <laughs> Kyle Carpenter's story. Basically, I've just butchered that about four or five times, mm. haven't I? So, you've done it. I think you do a good job. Um, Who wants to see me do intros? I'm, I'm happy for you to do them if you want. That. That's <laughs> um, freaky. Especially I believe if you enjoy this kind of content. Now, I feel like this is going to be an emotional one because, I mean, we did the Medal of Honor the first ever one, didn't we? Which was, again, American hero. Which was emotional. Um, and I feel like the only way you can get a Medal of Honor if you've done something heroic. Yeah. Something absolutely amazing, so it's always going to be emotional. Um, I've not heard of this story, have you? No. Um, so it's been mentioned a few times in the past. I, I'm not sure why we, we haven't got around to it, but we're getting around to it today. Um, I do love these kind of ones, but we can get a bit emotional, can't we? Yeah, they can. Um, so yeah, I mean that's pretty much it, isn't it? Let's see what's got in store for us. Yeah, smash that button if you enjoy it. Smash that subscribe button. Instagram, would seriously appreciate please. that. Millie wants you to check out Instagram please. as well. Please. Links are in the description. And Merch. Um, and shout out Kyle Carpenters. Let's get straight into no, it. No, I think it's just Carpenter. Carpenter. Carpenter's. <laughs> Carpenter's story. <laughs> yeah. Carpenter. This is why I did the intro. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Let's get straight into it. Kyle Carpenter. Sounds like an absolute hero. And let's check his story out. Let's go. Beautiful burden. I joined the Marine Corps because I wanted to devote my life, uh, my body, if need be, to something greater than myself or any one individual. Love that. In 2010, I deployed with 2nd Battalion, 9th Marines to Marja, Afghanistan. We were constantly attacked, just like we were every single day for the entire deployment. The fighting was very intense, and it wasn't a matter of, okay, is it gonna happen, but just a matter of when. Myself and an amazing uh, friend and fellow Marine, Lance Corporal Nick Euphrasio, we were on top of that roof together. We were near the end of our four hour post position on top of the roof when the enemy initiated a daylight attack with hand grenades. Imagine being in that situation. Mm. I mean, again, we, I, mean, I, I feel like we always say it's huge respect, not mm. only to Kyle, but to anyone who puts himself mm. in that position so we can be free and so that. Yeah. But the fact that he's telling a story where he's in the position where grenades are getting thrown, mm -hmm. it, it's so scary, yeah. isn't it? And fair play and huge, huge respect. Like, I got hit really hard in the face. My vision was as if I was looking at a TV with no connection. It was just white and gray static. I thought about my family and how devastated they were going to be, especially my mother, that I didn't make it home from Afghanistan. And uh, I closed my eyes and I faded out of consciousness for what I thought was going to be my last time on this earth. Five weeks later, oh my days. My injuries were so severe that still nine years later, um, it's hard to comprehend that I survived. I would encourage future generations. Not everyone has the freedoms and the peace uh, and the chance and hope for democracy that we have here. Don't go through every day just thinking that we're just here because we're here. You know, we got here because of um, 
incredible amounts of courage and sacrifice. The medal represents all who have raised their right hand and sworn to give their life, if called upon, for their country. It represents those who have never made it home to receive the thanks and recognition they deserve. Those who charged the beaches in World War II, froze while fighting in Korea, bled out across the lush fields of Vietnam, and those who never made it home because of another deadly blast in the battlefields of Iraq and Afghanistan. Those who were tortured for years in prisoner of war camps, and those who still rest in distant lands, forever remaining, missing in action. The medal represents the parents, husbands, wives, and loved ones who have heard the dreaded knock on their front doors to find a telegram or service member delivering the unbearable news. This is where the true weight of the medal is carried. Being a Medal of Honor recipient is a beautiful burden, but one I am honored to carry. Wow. <laughs> Don't know what to say. <laughs> I mean, it's just incredible, isn't it? Mm. But I mean, the fact that one, like we said before, the huge respect and everything, it is incredible. To then, I guess, be in that situation. Yeah. It's, you and be, be the one to jump on the grenade. I think even just f like being there in the first place is a big thing. Yep. But then risk knowing that you're going to die to save your friend in that, that split second decision you have to like, make that decision so quickly like it's a, it's yeah. a like a one second thought yeah you don't get to sleep but he on didn't it. even think about it just he just did it instincts and just shows what kind of man he is it's, it's just and like, like, like all, all, that, all that thing that he learned, all that way he went through the three years yeah, that's hospital. incredible, is it? Three years for recovery as well. Which, I guess it's a miracle if he's jumped on a grenade. It's a miracle that he is... Even alive. ...alive today. Let alone, you know, waking up five weeks later, three years in hospital, and to say that he did that, and as well, the way that, you know, the way that he's still walking around, he's yeah, still living his around. life. And his positivity. I mean, we don't know what that did to his mental health. We don't know what yeah. it did internally to anything, but... You would never think that he would, he jumped on a grenade. Oh, definitely not. And we're basically pretty much everyone so, thought he was going to so be dead. Like, it, and as well, he's so not like it's not poor me. It's, it's inspiring. Just so much have, yeah, like, inspiring. Yeah, why shouldn't I do that? I want mm. people to be free. And that's exactly what I was thinking. Just that whole. I guess you could argue he's just happy to be alive now. Mm -hmm. But then you could also argue three years in hospital trying to recover from this injury. He's also done a lot of yeah. trauma as well, I imagine, in mm. the army. For him to suddenly be like, yeah, that's life. We've got to be happy and inspiring. Mm. Yeah, it's like, exactly. Wow, what an absolute amazing guy. Mm. And again, the youngest ever, he doesn't even seem that old. No, he, yeah. He's, I don't he's, think he didn't say the age, did it? Um, no, but, but I would guess at late 20s. Maybe. Yeah, so mature for his age. and yeah. Wow. Uh, let us well yeah. smash the like button if you enjoyed it, guys. Smash the subscribe button. Um, obviously, with, with these videos anyway, it's not the most important thing. So if you don't want to, don't want, if you want to dislike, go for it. These videos. Not sure why you dislike this video. But. Yeah, no. Um, definitely go and show this video some love as well. The link will be in the description. And um, for anyone who does serve, because we do get a few comments saying I used to serve and stuff like that. Thank you so so much. Uh, huge huge respect because uh, it means you can be free and we can be free mm -hmm. and. It's absolutely incredible, especially when you hear stories like this. It yeah. just shows how dangerous it is. Smash that like button, guys. Smash the subscribe button. And uh, I think the most important thing is to have a fantastic day, don't you think? Have a fantastic day, guys, and we'll see you, legends, in the next one. Peace.